Hey, happy Monday. Hope you're all having a great start to your week as always. And uh, it's Scott checking in from Boston and I wanted to throw out a question and a topic and I would love to get feedback and comment on this one, okay? Those of you who believe in self-help, who believe in the term and feel or believe that you do things along the lines of self-help, personal development, um, but I really wanna focus on that term, self-help. And what are your thoughts on it? And this is not a case where I feel like I'm right or you're wrong or anybody else is wrong or somebody else is right. I want to throw this out there, right, as a, uh, as a new way to think about something, as something to think about when it comes to the term self-help. Because I'm making a proclamation or a statement right now that I feel that term is garbage and it's counterproductive to how we want to think and the mindset that we want to have when it comes to our own growth and learning. And I'll share that, I'll share my take, and you let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the term self-help, if you use it, um, if you're in the self-help section of the bookstore, which I'll talk a little bit about, and, and if you agree or disagree with my premise around how that term is no longer serving us in today's world, in today's society. So just to frame this and set this up a little bit, this past weekend I was listening to a podcast. It was actually one of Tim Ferriss's podcasts. It's the newest release where he and Kevin Rose were just doing like, you know, an ad lib, talk about a bunch of different topics, random thoughts for like an hour and a half. And this was literally five minutes of the entire podcast. And you can check it out. It's in the latter stages, like in the last 20 minutes of the podcast, if you want to look into it. But he ta they talk about it for like five minutes, but they started talking about self-help and the industry of, not, not what the term means, but the industry of. And that's what got me thinking about this some more because the reason they started talking about it was because often self-help can have a kind of a negative connotation, connotation associated with it that sometimes people think it's all wooey wooey and nonsense and people who are in the self-help, it's, it's sometimes a scam and salesy and those who are doing self-help on themselves, like, yeah, whatever, you know, go self-help yourself to death. Because Tim Ferriss was sharing a story about how one time he was interviewed on TV by a station and they tried to kind of pin him down or get him to talk about self-help in a negative way. So that's where this comes from when I heard Tim Ferriss and Kevin Rose talk about it. And this is my feeling on the whole term self-help. Well, I, I mean, I've been living in that section of the bookstore for years, admittedly, and I've even told stories, you, you probably haven't seen it, but I've told stories in videos like this where I used to dwell and spend time in the self-help section of Barnes & Noble and Borders for, for years, looking at books, reading parts of them, and wanting to learn more, okay? Um, so I'm, I've been all in on that in personal development. but. You know, I look at it differently now. I look at, listen, we are human beings wired to want to grow and evolve. Our instinct as people, as human beings, is to get better. When, when people, that's why we are in the position that we are on this earth and on the planet, because we always had the wiring as a creature, as a species, to want to get better, to come together, to collaborate, um, to commune with other people, and to make things better, to create, right? Great, you're great, all right? So we've always had that instinct and that wiring. It's just natural and inherent in us that we wanna get better. So the way I look at it is, and as I've learned as an entrepreneur in the last year and a half, that you know, most of us, we want to be in a place of, and coming from a place of constant learning and growth. That's just how we are. So, so to me, the term self-help, it's almost like it, it has its own category that if you are in this situation or if you're in this mindset of learning and growth, you're, you're a self-help person. You, you almost like the, the bookstore section is almost like a metaphor for life. Like you belong over there in the self-help section. Not that there's really anything wrong with that, but, but you belong over there. It's a different area. It's a different um, you know, mindset and part of life. It's not a different, and here's my argument. It's not a different part of life. Most people, most of us, you included, want to grow, want to get better, want to make things better, want to make change, want to make an impact. And so why are we categorizing or relating self-help as something that's like out of the ordinary, right? My, my position on this is that we are always learning and growing regardless. And to feel p fulfillment, to um, want to know and actually carry out and execute on making an impact is, is what we want to do anyway. It's not out of the ordinary. We want to get better, we want to grow, okay? So I don't want to place self-help in this category of different 
or unique or out there into and unto its own self. It's not. We, mo most of us want to be doing that anyway. So forget, I say self-help is garbage as a term. It's garbage as a category. We are creatures wired to learn and get better. And we should be doing that. And most of us are doing that anyway in our life. Now, the difference is, so the difference is that some people spend more time, invest more mental, emotional, physical energy, and invest themselves all in on continuous growth, which is great. And others, not as much, um, which is okay too. It fits what they're doing. Um, and some don't invest in it at all, and that's um, you know, not ideal, but um, whatever fits best for your life. But for those who are all in on continuous growth and those who are even in part of the way on growth and learning, that's great. That's normal steps in life, okay? My argument is, and again, I would love to hear feedback on this part, okay? What is your take on development and growth as a person, as a human being, as who you are, how it fits into your life? You know, are you looking to do it a lot? Do you look at it like something that's consistent in your life and not, out, hey, you know, once or, you know, once or twice a year, I'm going to go to the self-help category and, and, and buy this book and uh, maybe I'll get something out of it. Maybe I'll get a little more information in my head. Or, you know, are you going to continually look at life? This is what I do. I continually look at life like constant learning and growth, not just from books, not just from podcasts, not just from videos, but from everything I do, every interaction I have. I just had a little bit of an up and down weekend, personally and professionally with a variety of things. And I learned from all of them. I learned from all of them. And that's part, that's my growth. And I don't, it's not self-help anything. Self-help doesn't even apply there. And to be honest with you, when I read a book that helps me get better as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a career coach, um, when I listen to a podcast or a video, it's not self-help. It's doing what I naturally want to do as a person who's wired to get better and grow and continually progress, all right? So I call hogwash on the term self-help. I say we get rid of it altogether. It doesn't serve us any value anymore in this world. I can see maybe, you know, 30 years ago when it wasn't as common, right? These topics weren't as common even 20 years ago. Now, because of what we have access to at our fingertips, this kind of development in books and audiobooks and podcasts and videos and talks and everything that we have at online courses, digital courses, it's just the norm. It's the norm and it's, it's meeting a need. Last point, it's meeting a need that we as humans have anyway, okay? It's not a special category anymore. Bookstores should get rid of it, just call it learning, growth, whatever. It's not self-help, we're always learning and growing. All right, again, I'd love to hear your take on this. What is your take on the term self-help? Is it even applicable? Does it serve any kind of need? I don't think it does. I don't think it's applicable anymore in this world. I think we should abolish it. And it doesn't even get people sometimes, sometimes into the right mindset of how to look at it. Self-help is not special or out of the ordinary. It's what we are wired to do all the time anyway. So let's make a case for this. I really believe in this. If you disagree with me, let me know. I'm all in. I'd love to hear your take. Comment below. Let me know on you know, whether you believe the term has a place in our world today. All right, I got to run. People around me are probably getting crazy as to what the heck I'm doing here. But um, thanks for listening. Self-help. What are your thoughts?